Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at fitting a solid state drive and also how we would go about upgrading the memory on this laptop, which is a HP Pavilion 15 inch, and this is the 15AU076SA. Um, this should cover a range of models. And the first thing we're going to do is just with this plastic pry tool we have this rubber strip here which acts as a bit of a foot and this is at the back of the laptop and we just need to lift this out because annoyingly there is a single screw hidden beneath this so with that back screw uh, cover removed we're just going to go round and we have just one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have just these screws here so we're going to what i normally do is just keep these on the desk in roughly the order that i've taken them out in um, i believe these are generally similar sizes but that one there is a little different So with these screws coming out, in fact, interestingly, despite the service manual telling me all of these would be the same size, there are some differences here. Then we have these four angled ones on the front. So with these removed. Now this particular laptop is a Pentium model. Um, like I say, I'm sure there are different models and variants of this with different specifications. And this is going to a customer, so we're fitting a 240GB SSD and I'll put the uh, link in the description below for that. And having gone to the effort of removing that little cover there, there was nothing underneath it, so the service manual was at least correct on that, even if the screws do appear to have some variable sizing. And what we need to do now is flip this over, take out the little palm rest cover, and what we want to do is just with our pry tool, press down to begin lifting or separating the base from the palm rest. So if we run around this here, And as we go around, we can just hear that clipping to release. The main board and so on are actually attached to the palm rest, so we just need to go in from this side to release the clips and then flip over to remove the base. So by going around here, we will release all of those. Then as we turn back over and we will slot out the optical drive and then from the optical drive end lift back holding down the base and it looks like we just need to flip back over and go along the back edge as well Having done that, now we should, yep, and that will release the base panel. Now once we're in here we can see we have, in this case this machine has 4 gigs of memory, so we have a single DIMM in there. If we wanted to install a second to upgrade this to 8, we could just clip that in there. We have the hard drive here, and this is 
held in with these bits of rubber so what I'm going to do is just lift that up and out uh, yeah, so it needs to slide out this way and then we can detach the SATA connector the hard drive this just presses into it so we can release these end pieces and then if we take our replacement SSD See this goes that way up and these rails can just press in on each side, plug in the connector and put these rails on upside down have we? No, that looks Yes. Flip those rails around. So we want those lugs at the base. So now we can slot that in and press down. Sorry for the slight confusion there, it's my first time taking this particular machine apart. Now while we're in here there are other bits that we could do, so if we were to want to replace the battery, um, now I know some people will say that I should have disconnected that to begin with, um, so battery appears to come in on this connector here, so to disconnect the battery we would have slotted that out and then we have one, two, three screws if we wanted to remove that and to reconnect just slot that back in. We could also replace the wireless card, uh, single screw there and two clips on there. If we wanted to remove the cooler to clean things we have three screws for the fan here and a connector for the fan itself and likewise four screws here if we wanted to remove the heatsink to clean things there. So there are a few sort of user accessible points inside this machine. Uh, what I cannot see in here is a M2 slot for an SSD. Um, so it looks like SATA is your only option so fitting two drives on this model wouldn't be an option. Now in terms of reassembly it's basically the reverse of what we've done already so we want to take this base and line it up with the ports. We want to start on this side and press it in. It's a little hard for me to see over the camera here. So then just press down so that things flip back into place roughly. Flip it back over and just press down around edges just to make sure everything on the machine clips back into place. Now we can flip back over, slot in our DVD drive, put the screws back in, reattach that back rubber strip and we are done. I hope you found this video useful. Um, do be sure to let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.